In 2014, on the occasion of the new group's revival of his heartbreaking, angry, dark play about the return of the Vietnam veteran, our next honoree told an interviewer that he, thought, he said, I think the underpinning of my plays is this. We're in over our heads from the moment we're born to the moment we die. Okay. And then he went on to say, that's the root of comedy. People acting like they're not over their head, in over their heads, when in fact they are. <laughs> and that turns out to be a wonderful introduction to the work of David Ray, the work that he's written and created for Off-Broadway and Broadway and film for the last 47 years or so. His brilliant, subversive Vietnam plays, The Basic Training of Pablo Hummel and Sticks and Bones, premiered in 1971. That's in the middle of the war in Vietnam when the whole country was in the way over its head. And not surprisingly, people walked out of the theater because like the characters David Ray created, they did not want anyone bringing the war home. But the drama desk felt differently, and they named him the most promising playwright that year. And he went on to fulfill that promise time and again with play after play that are seared into our consciousness, streamers, the story of an all-American platoon, setting out for Vietnam in 1965, The Orphans, his Orestia, in the Boom Boom Room, for which he created the indelible character of Chrissy in over her head and desperately, ever hopefully, trying to navigate among bad men and bad options. And Curly Burley, his dark vision of Hollywood ambition and misogyny, hilarious and terrifying at the same time, which opened off Broadway at the Promenade Theater in 1984. Listen to this cast. This is what you get if you write a great, great play. Directed by Mike Nichols, with William Hurt, Judith Ivey, Harvey Keitel, Cynthia Nixon, Jerry Stiller, Christopher Walken, and Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> Early Burley streamers and sticks and bones have received lauded revivals in the recent past, confirming the play's timelessness. And this season, David Wright's latest play, Good for Otto, produced by the new group, again offered an all-star cast, including Ed Harris, Amy Madigan, F. Murray Abraham, and Leah Perlman. Terry Teachout, writing in the Wall Street Journal called Good for Otto, one of the best new plays by one of the finest writers impeccably through the everyday life. And he added, I've never seen a show as realistic in its portrayal of therapy and crisis. If you continue to do that sort of thing over a few decades, you go from most promising playwright to legend. And that's where he is now. Ladies and gentlemen, David Ray.
17, 18 years old. And, and the thing that really kicked me off was James D. Just, I saw that and I thought, what the hell is that? It was like something, <clears throat> I, I don't even know how to explain it, but and he, I'm not alone, and a lot of people were watching by that. Um, as a legend, I almost brought an artifact, which would have been my uh, copy of Actors Prepared, uh, or Actors Prepares, I mean, the Stanislavski book, which was underlined to the point of insanity, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and obsession, certainly, as I was determined then to figure out how to do this acting thing, which then it morphed into writing, and just very, I loved acting behind after the army. I really didn't want to ever do that again. And uh, for reasons I don't, I kind of understand, but, but anyway, so, uh, for me, uh, Joe Papp was the, I, 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 it's a story I'm really fond of, I'm not sure why, but I, I, my first two plays, Pablo and Sticks and Bones, were being turned on everywhere, including the public, and uh, for whatever reason, I sent it back, and and then I picked up my house living in Pennsylvania one night, and, and it was Joe saying, oh, it's Joe Papp. And I thought, you know, it was like, it's kind of out of the blue, even though I know it's submitted the play. <laughs> so uh, that started a great thing for me. And then over the years, I've had, uh, you know, good luck off Broadway with a lot of different theaters, uh, theater, New York Theater Workshop and Atlantic, and, um, and most recently with the new group, um, and good directors. So lots of good fortune. And uh, I'm still at it. <laughs> Every day, one way or another, I'm coming up with things. So hopefully they'll find a way to some off-public theater. So, thank you very much.